Sorry, but no pictures can put in what we're seeing right now. No picture what? No pictures can see what we're doing right yeah. now. Are you busy? Yeah? Just Hi. really quick. We used to call We are at Hong Kong on the ferry back to Kowloon. Hi guys! Yeah, we are actually filming, wasn't sure if we were or not. Um, we've just been on the boat ride, which was across this view. I think I showed this before. But it's a pretty spectacular view. This is quite a busy bit that I've chosen to walk across. Um, but yeah, that was really, really nice vlog. So what is your hat? Where did you get your... You're Where a, from? Yeah. Stanley, Stanley, Market. Stanley Market. Stanley Market. And you're a Hong Kong fisherman. And you're, where Vietnam. are you from? Vietnam. You're Vietnamese. Nicole, so us what you bought. I bought a scar. Nicole bought a scar. It's very pretty. I didn't buy anything. Look at it. Lovely. So yeah, those are the purchases of the day. Um, everybody else is just sort of hanging around waiting for the show to begin. We just missed a flash mob, which I can't believe we actually, we heard the music and we knew something was going on. Lindsay's vlogging. So, I don't know we... You guys had vanished just when the vlog started. Um, but yeah, so um, yeah, we're gonna wait for the laser light show and then yeah. go back. Get a what? You have to film the show. I know. I'm a, gonna film the show. We missed a flash mark. I know. We, flash we, we were too busy like Uh huh. This, yeah. by the way, Harry, Hi. Kate, oh, no, Amy, right. Marnie, Hello. and Marnie and I are wearing the same top, but in different oh, colours. I don't know if we can get them both in. But she's in the monochrome version. And I'm in the, the extremely colourful version. So yeah, I'm going to leave it there and I will vlog when the show begins. I think my hair's probably inexplicable. I'm going to have to accept that that's what my hair's going to be like for the rest of this vlog, probably. And I will talk to you all again soon. Bye! Sunday morning. I'm so disorientated with the time. And um, we're trying to make our way, me, Sarah, Gemma and Emily, are trying to make our way to see the Buddha, which we've been really excited to see, but we got ourselves slightly lost <laughs> trying to make our way around the underground. This underground system is confusing. Um, not, I'm sure, for locals, but for us, we just sort of went completely in the wrong direction. Plus, we wasted a little bit of time looking at makeup and a little like pharmacy just next to the underground station so um we've got some makeup stuff uh, which i will show you later on i've got some um exciting mascara and stuff which i'm really excited about and yeah we're here to buy our tickets so i better go um i really hope we're going to get to see this buddha because i think it would be amazing i'm going to be really annoyed if we've managed to like miss out but it'll be fine um better go and buy a ticket but i will report back soon and let you know if we've managed to find our way there bye we managed to succeed in getting our tickets for the underground, finally. Um, it took us long enough, but I thought I'd do a quick pan of the underground to let you see what it looks like. This is where we're about to get on. Emily's taking some photos and there's Sarah and Gemma. So yeah, we're going to just jump on the underground and go see the Buddha. So, they'll be back soon. This is at the subway station that we've just got off at to go to the cable car. This is pretty exciting. Um, Sarah and Gemma are walking ahead. So yeah, such a lovely day. So we're going to go get the cable car and I'll vlog a little bit from the cable car. Emily's taking some pictures. Um, and yeah, we'll, um, yeah, I'll vlog from the cable car. Well guys, that was the least successful trip to see a Buddha ever. We travelled all the way here on the underground and it took forever and we were so proud of ourselves for figuring out the underground system and managing to get here and whatever and there was a queue for 45 minutes to get on the cable car and we thought we're not going to wait in that but yeah. there's also a bus so we could maybe get the bus um, and then we found out that the bus just dropped my cardigan. The bus takes 40 minutes um, there and back and so we thought about it and then realised that considering it is now quarter to 12 and we are going on the second part of our tour this afternoon at like half two, we have to leave the hotel at half two and it took us ages to get here. 
that wasn't gonna happen. So we had a wander around here. I'll let you see like the sort of like background here. So it's really, really pretty here. So it was worth coming along, even if we didn't get to see the Buddha or the monastery, <laughs> which is kind of the whole point um, of this journey. But we feel pretty good about the fact that we've done a little bit more exploring of Hong Kong. We've seen some more sites on the um, underground. We saw some really nice sites across the kind of, it comes up like a normal train and you can see across the water and whatever. So it was really nice. And so now we're gonna go get some lunch which is always good because um, we're not going to eat again until we're at the airport and that'll be after six o'clock. So we are going to go and get some lunch um, and then make our way back. So yeah, that has been our little adventure this morning. Um, it's been a lot of fun actually. We've had a good laugh even if we haven't managed to get to where we're supposed to be going. The girls are up ahead. I'll show you them walking along. I've fallen a little bit behind because I'm vlogging, but yeah, i um, going to go get some lunch. There's a McDonald's and a Starbucks and a Hagen Daz and some place a subway round about here. Not very authentic Chinese, but hey, we had Chinese dinner last night, so it's fine. Um, here's the little fountains again. I showed you them before. That's a cinema over there. And yes, yeah, I will show you some more sights this afternoon. Bye. This is a massive shopping mall that we've just discovered and we're going to go and get some lunch. Um, there's a lot of like pretty designery outlet shops here so we could probably get some things quite cheap but we're not going to shop, we're going to get some food and get the underground back but this has been quite a nice find um, which we wouldn't have found if we had gone to see the Buddha so yeah, swings and roundabouts really. So right now we are up at a temple in Hong Kong. I can't actually remember the name of it, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna, um, I'll put that across the screen right now. I'll just put the name on it, whatever it is. Um, but I'm just getting in the way of people's photos right now. Here's Amy. We're having a little, yeah, a little bit. Um, so yeah, it's really, really lovely here. It's such a nice day. And we're just having a bit of a wander. Again, I can't remember the name of what this place is, but I will pop it in the... I'll put a, a little bubble, let you know. Hi guys, I just realised that I never did a sort of end of Hong Kong video. Um, because by the time we got to the airport, we couldn't really be bothered. We were all just sat about um, on the floor, Skyping home or phoning home and getting organised for another eight hour flight. So um, yeah, I forgot to kind of round off the, the trip. Um, so I thought that I would do that right now um, and just say what an amazing experience Hong Kong was. We had the best time. Um, this is not working. I'm swapping my hands over because they're shaking. Um, but we had such, such a good time. The whole thing was set out and planned so well. The only downside was the um, long wait that we had to get into the hotel on day one because we were all so tired and grumpy and just wanted to get to the hotel and have a shower and have a sleep. Um, and that was a bit annoying that... Um, we had such a long wait, but I guess when you're arriving at seven o'clock in the morning, that's that's going to happen sometimes. Um, so yeah, other than that, it was amazing. All of the sites were just fantastic, as you've seen in the video. Um, it's an amazing city. I'm so pleased that I got a chance to go there. Um, but what I haven't shown you yet is my little mini um, Hong Kong Asian makeup haul, which is very, very small, and one of them isn't even really technically Asian makeup. It's Maybelline. Um, but I thought I'd show you it just now, so here's what I bought. So this is the Majolica Majorca Mascara. I don't know how to pronounce that properly, I'm sorry. Um, and this one is the Wing Lash Wing King or something like that. I can't remember, but it's meant to give you really, really nice winged lashes. Um, so I haven't actually taken that out of the packaging yet, so I'll do that just now. Um, I'm in my room, by the way, at the hostel. I'll do a quick pan. This is my room, this is my feet, I'm sitting up on my top bunk, Harry is in the bunk below and we've got a nice view of Sydney outside but you can't really see that. Anyway, um, this is the Lash Gorgeous Wing Mascara, that's it. 
um, that's not wanting to focus. Um, and this is meant to be really amazing, so look at my tip nails, that's awful. Um, so I'm really excited to give that a try. The packaging is amazing. Next I got this little blusher and it's, where is this from? This is also Majolica Majorca, please tell me I'm pronouncing that correctly. And this is the Puff to Cheek blusher. Um, in peach macaroon and I've not taken it out of the packaging yet so I can't let you see what the colour looks like but it's just a really nice soft neutrally peach um, with a bit of a sort of corally undertone but I really really love the packaging of that and finally I bought some Maybelline baby lips because I really wanted to try this for so long and I haven't been able to get it you don't get it in the UK and um, I thought it was only an American thing actually but I was really excited to see that so you can see um, it is baby lips SPF 20 and I got the one that is cherry velvet so I'm really excited to get that. This was all actually really reasonably priced. I think this was like $23, which was like £2.30, something like that. This was $80, so that's like £8. Um, Hong Kong money is so much easier to figure out than the Australian dollars. And this one, I think, was 30, 130, $128, which is £12.80. Um, something along those lines. So yeah, the prices of this stuff was actually really, really reasonable. So I was really, really pleased with my little mini makeup haul. Um, but yes, I think um, that will do for my little roundup of Hong Kong. Um, I've done a, I've done a vlog in Sydney before I rounded up the Hong Kong, which was a bit pointless. But um, yeah, I'm gonna go now and probably edit my Hong Kong video because I haven't done it yet. Aha, uh -huh, obviously, um, since I'm rounding it off here, I'm going to go and edit this video and then get ready for dinner because I think we're going to meet for dinner at six and it's about half past four just now and I'm going to need to have a shower because as you can see, the hot weather is not exactly leaving my hair looking particularly um, glamorous. So I'm going to go and get organised and I will be back with my first Sydney vlog soon. Bye!